baby's first halty. So this is a head collar put on for the very first time. This is called quick and dirty head collar training, all right? You stick it on the dog, start feeding, see what happens. Because the tool, worn right on the, the muzzle of the dog, it can be rather uncomfortable, I imagine. Especially as the dog's getting used to the sensation. I mean, can you imagine if you had to wear one of these on your face, it might feel kind of weird, and then have someone attach a leash to your chin and pull you around like a pony. It might feel kind of strange. So, let's see how she does. Good girl. So you see the head flicking, the head twitching. So all of that is new behavior that is a side effect of the head collar and it should decrease over time as she gets used to wearing the device. Good girl. Nice girl. So you'll see a lot of the head moving. Sometimes you'll see dogs dive into the earth to try to get it off their face. You'll see dogs rubbing on your legs, basically doing anything to either convince you to take it off them or to get the device off themselves by rubbing it on the ground or on you or on your friends. Fret not. Just don't let them get it off. Because if they learn, they can either get it off by pawing or by rubbing it on people, if that works for them, then they're gonna start doing it more often, right? That's just basic learning theory. And uh, I shouldn't have to say this, but when you're using this tool, there's a tension and a release part of this, there's a pressure thing. Never are you ever to jerk on the leash. This is not used like a training collar, all right? You're using as little pressure or as little tension as possible to influence the dog, right? So you're guiding the dog through space. So when I want to turn, I can just turn and the device, the device kind of suggests movement, all right? So I'm not yanking on it, pulling on it. You are walking with your dog on this device, on a head collar. If your dog's on your left, you want to make sure your leash is draping this way, towards you, not over here. So when you're walking, you don't want the leash over here. You want the leash on your side, all right? That looks so that looks so good right there. Excellent. Yes. Who's so perfect? Oh, very good. Very good. Come over and sit again. Come on. Good girl. All right, so what we'll do now, since she's doing so well, I want to end this session on a good note, and 
I wanted to get a bit more exercise. What we're going to do is we're going to leave the head collar on, but we're going to take the leash off of the head collar. We're going to put the flexi leash or the retractable leash on her harness. So she's going to be wearing the device, but engaging in activity she likes. So hopefully they'll get a little bit of a classical conditioning bleed that happens there. All right. So she's wearing the device, which then leads to running around and having fun. She's going to get used to having or engaging in an activity while she's wearing the device. There'll be less pressure on her because there'll be no leash attached. So let's see how that works out. What is that? Come! Sit. Head collar. We're not clipped to the head collar, we're clipped to the harness. Uh, her dad, her owner, her guardian, whatever, and I were just talking about recall. Uh, he was recently in, uh, I believe, a tennis court, fully fenced area. She was off leash. She would not come to him. All right, so we got to work on the recall. All right, let's work on that. She's on leash. More control. Let's go. Teaching your dog to chase you, all of that stuff. The base, basically, the dog needs to. She needs to learn how awesome it is to come towards you. She already thinks it's awesome to go towards other people and other dogs, other cars, right? Let's go! Come here! All right, so that'll conclude our lesson for today. Uh, maybe we'll get to see some Tiffany action next week. It's now Friday. We've been working together for about four days. Total of about, you know, two and a half hours. Um, and I think she's doing pretty well. So thanks for watching.